Hi, my name is Avril Sorter and welcome to this short clip. Today we're going to take a look at how I can set my audit policy in Active Directory. So I have remote logged in to my domain controller and I have signed on with the domain administrator credentials. What I'm going to do is bring up my group policy management console and I do that by selecting administrative tools and here you can see group policy management. If you're not familiar with group policy management, I do recommend that you become very, very familiar with this console because it is extremely useful in accessing most of your security information. So what we're going to do is we've selected the forest and into the domain of sorter.com and I'm going to right click the default domain policy and select edit. So that brings me to my group policy management editor and I want to go under computer configurations, selecting policies, windows settings, security settings, and here you can see I've got a huge number of security settings that I can look at. What I need to do is under local policies and here you can see the audit policy. Now for this illustration, the auditing policy that I want to edit is the second one, audit account management. And by double clicking on this, it'll bring up the management property screen. And you can see I can select the security settings and I can select success and failure or just success or just failure. In this illustration, I'm looking to audit the effectiveness of my administrative team and my help desk staff. And so what I want to track is both successes and failures. Now the audit account management, what that's going to do is going to track changes to any user accounts or groups. So I'm going to select apply and OK. You can see here the other types of events that I could also be capturing in my log. But for our purposes today, we're just going to look at the auditing of the account management. So now I'm actually going to go in and change one of the user accounts and see if that event gets logged. So to do that, we're going to go into administrative tools and select Active Directory users and computers and I'm going to edit one of these users. So let's edit Debbie. So here I'm going to type in her name and she is a lead engineer. I shall apply these changes and now let's take a look at our event viewer. We select that by going through administrative tools and into event viewer and I open up the Windows logs. Here's my security log. And here you can see that I have a user account management event that has just occurred. And if we go down here, we can see that an account was changed. And if we look at the details, we can see it was dmonks that was changed and that this change was successful. So I have shown you how to set up an audit policy inside Active Directory to help create events which then go into your security log. I hope you found this of value. Thank you for joining me.